let's find the angle theta in this right angle triangle when angles are involved in a right angle triangle you should not think of pythagoras theorem you won't be using pythagoras theorem you will think of soka tour the first step is to identify the opposite here the opposite is the side facing the angle which is root 3 over 2 next you identify the longest length the longest side is the side facing the right angle which is the hypotenuse and this remaining part is the adjacent here we have the opposite and the hypotenuse we don't know the adjacent we can only use pythagoras theorem if we are looking for this side but our aim is to find this angle cos have adjacent i will not use cos tan has adjacent i will not use tan i will go for sine of the angle because it has opposite and it also has the hypotenuse here then i would make use of this i will go for the sine of the angle then sine of the angle is opposite which is root 3 divide by 2 then divide by the square root of 5 next we're going to have that this is sine theta divide by the square root of 3 divide by 2 divide by the square root of 5 sine theta is the square root of 3 divided by 2 times 1 over the square root of 5 here we're going to have that sine theta is the square root of 3 divided by 2 multiplied by the square root of 5 next we're going to have that our angle theta is this sign we move across and become the sine inverse of the square root of 3 divided by 2 multiplied by the square root of 5 in brackets if you decide to rationalize this so that you have the square root of 3 divided by 2 multiplied by the square root of 5 times 2 root 5 divide 2 root 5 this times this will give you 2 root 15 divide by this times this is 4 and this times this will give you 5 this 2 will take away this 4 and you are going to have the square root of 15 divide by 2 times 5 here we are going to have the square root of 15 divided by 10 then this angle theta will become the sine inverse of root 15 divided by 10 we have rationalized the denominator then this becomes theta is the sine inverse of the square root of 15 divide by 10 this becomes the angle in sod form which is this angle and this becomes our answer in this question you are not meant to use a calculator 